I don't like long intros, so we're gonna get straight into the video today's game, episode six of my Dragon Quest Eight Let's Play series here on the channel. And today is we're gonna be grinding. I know nobody likes having to grind for levels. It's boring. It's cringe. And I agree. I agree. That's why we do it this way. This is the most efficient way to grind for levels in Dragon Quest VIII early game, and it's not even debatable. I don't want to hear anything. If you're playing alongside me or you plan on doing your own playthrough, do what I do. There is no better way to get a lot of levels fast than what I do here. So if you do enjoy the video and do find it helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you love the channel grow, we'll catch y'all in the next one. All right. Let's make our way back to Brain's house. See if he knows anything about Dual Magus. Then after we do so, we're gonna buy a couple things and uh, begin preparations for the rest of the game. Alright, there he is. Hello, Brains. Long time no see. Back at last, eh? Well, well, look who it is. You came when I was out, did you, Yangers? I'm sorry I wasn't here. But you're back again. So, if I'm not mistaken, you must be in need of some information. Am I right? Always on the ball, eh, Brains? We're looking for this bloke who looks like a clown. Goes by the name of Dolmagus. He's a slippery customer. Keeps getting away from us. Have you heard anything? Yes, I've heard about him. The criminal responsible for murdering the abbot of Maella Abbey, no less. Damn, information travels fast. Because that kind of like just happened, right? My sources report seeing him walking over the surface of the sea toward the western continent. The Western Continent? That's a bit easy, isn't it? Can't you be more spiffic? Spiffic? <laughs> Sorry, that's all I know. I wish I could tell you more. Well, if you don't know nothing more, Brains, there ain't nothing more to know. We'll have to go to the Western Continent ourselves. A fine idea. Mm. But aren't you forgetting something? How do you intend to cross the sea? Aye? Monster attacks at sea have been significantly worse recently. All crossings from here and from the northern continent have been cancelled. You could go if you had your own ship, but unless I'm misinformed, you don't. I'd say that will pose quite a problem. Uh, yeah. I don't fault with that. No, I can see that. Well, perhaps I can help you out there with a little snippet of information I heard. Yes, please. Follow the cliffs along the coast to the west from Port Prospect, and you will come to a wide open wasteland. According to what I hear, there's an old abandoned ship there. I don't know why a ship should be in a place devoid of water, but anyway, people say it's a magic ship. If you could get it up and running again, you'd be able to sail anywhere you wanted. You might want to try the path to the west of Port Prospect. It was blocked by a rock slide. But I hear that's been cleared up now. I wonder if we would have I wonder if we would have tried to go west of Port Prospect, we would have ran into that rock slide Brains just mentioned. I'm curious. Nothing in here we can loot. <clears throat> oh, never mind. Seed of Wisdom. 30 gold coins. And that's, that's it. All right. So this episode, um, I'm a little conflicted because I want to swing by the casino, but I also like want to get a move on with uh, the grind session, you know. 
I don't understand how I'm supposed to take a photo of that. Because I'm pretty sure I need to take a photo of that. But whatever. Uh, let... I'm conflicted. Let's, uh, let's swing by the casino because we're already here. Actually, no. Ugh, forget the casino. Forget the casino for now. Or, I don't know, I'm so damn conflicted. Let's just step in. Let's just step in, because I don't actually know what the best game is to play to um, have the best chance of winning, you know? But let's see what rewards they have. Who do we talk to? Probably this lady, right, with the chess and the stuff behind her. Welcome to the exchange counter where you can trade your casino tokens for all sorts of prizes. You currently have, what's this? I'm afraid you don't have any casino tokens at all. Please come again when you've acquired some. All right, so let's try and get like one token. Um, I don't want to spend too much money. Let's just buy 10. Okay. Let's see what these lovely ladies have for us. <coughs> Alright, magic water, silver platter, agility ring, titan belt, rune staff, platinum headgear. Is that it? Maybe that's it for now. Maybe there will be more rewards later on. Um, not anything that we want to spend time grinding for right now, at the very least. So, we'll just keep it moving. I am glad that we checked. Um, so now we're going to head on over to Port Prospect. Let's use our Chimera Wing. Port Prospects. So, remember all those photographs that we were taking? This is why. Let's talk to Cameron Obscura. Ah. Hello there, Zero. I hope you're making good use of your travels to take some interesting photographs. Ah, splendid. It looks like you managed to snap a photograph I was after. Now then, let's have a good look. We've completed 23 new challenges. Certainly overkill for what we're going after, yeah? We obtained 35 stamps. Super overkill. I guess let's take a look at the uh, smaller screen so that we can see the, the cards that we complete. So we just finished the slime card and we got a vial of Amora Seco Essence. By completing the Draki card, we get a seed of skill. Completing the Imp card, we get a double bubble. Let's take a moment to talk about the double bubble. The double bubble, there are only two in the game. I'm not going to tell you where the second one is, but we will, be, we will be getting that second one just way later. Way, way, way later in our series here. Um, but the first double bubble is right here. The reason you get a double bubble, or the reason that I've been pestering you guys about taking photos, and that I've been, you know, messing around with my camera, is because of the double bubble doubles all experience points gained for 10 battles now let's say oh matt but what if i'm running around and i accidentally bump into a mummy boy is that going to use up one of my charges in the double bubble no you have to complete the battle in order for the double bubble charge to be used there are 10 charges in the double bubble so We've already fought Metal Slimes. Metal Slimes gave us about 1,000, like 350 experience. Well, later on, we're gonna go, and we are going to use the double bubble, the double bubble, to farm Liquid Metal Slimes. Liquid Metal Slimes are the next iteration of Metal Slimes, obviously, and they give our over 10,000 experience per slime. So if we kill one, 
we're going to get over 20,000 experience off of one charge of the double bubble. This is paramount for the rest of the game or the rest of the main game. I'll just say that because there are some other grinding sections, but more or less this grinding section that we're kind of, that we're going to come up on in this episode will set us up for the rest of the game for quite a while. So seven stamps in the imp card gets you the double bubble. Obviously, I went overkill. I got like 35 stamps. Let's just see what else we get because I actually don't know. Um, but the double bubble is the highest value reward out of the Cameron Codex quest line. Make sure to do it. I'm not kidding. Jail cat card. We got a holy lance. Um, don't really need it, but I guess we'll take it. Slime knight card. Highly strung cheese. We will be using highly strung cheese again way later in our series. So you know we we are gonna we were gonna find two. So I guess having a third isn't too bad. All right. You completed all the Alexandria region challenges, which earns you a new sticker to use in your photo album. Thanks. Don't really care about the stickers. He's just telling us, you know, he'll give us rewards um, as we complete his challenges, which we clearly already know. Um, we do, in fact, want to buy something here. I feel like there was a well in Pick'em that I intended to jump down, but I forgot to. But whatever, let's stay overnight. So the shop will open up. Head on over to this guy. And we're going to finally buy Yangus an axe. You're probably thinking, why the hell did we get Yangus a stone axe? <clears throat> why not uh, get him a better one? We could have gotten one at Pick'em or something. And the reason why is because it actually doesn't matter what axe we give him right now. Look at that Holy Lance that we got. So that's a hero. So the whole the holy lance is uh, inconsequential right now. I mean, it's cool to have, I guess. We really don't need it, um, but whatever. Just throw the iron lance in our bag for now. Holy waters, we're gonna throw them in the bag. Not gonna need them, and I'll tell you why when we get to uh, when we get to um, to the place where we're gonna grind liquid metal slimes. Because you're probably thinking, well, I mean. If uh, I'm gonna give Zero the bunny, uh, the hero the bunny tail. Um, so you're probably thinking, why, like, Holy Waters get a give a guaranteed um, is guaranteed damage against metal slimes, especially when they are so evasive. Um, that sort of guaranteed damage can be understated. And you're right. But we already have a method to deal with metal slimes from here on out. So let's head on back to pick them for a second because I want to check out that well. <clears throat> um, so we have a method for dealing with slimes that is... I was gonna say it's more consistent, but in reality, it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a dice roll or a coin flip. Um, but what it is is when it hits, it guarantees a kill. Whereas with holy water, you need 
at least like three of your party members to hit in order for you to get a kill. What's going on with this guy? Sir? Haha, -ha. that's as much as I can take. What's going on down here? Welcome to the Pick'em Secret Club. <laughs> okay. Let's break their pots. Mini metal, we'll take it. File vial of a Morseco. What is going on in here? Let's talk to this guy. All the harmful stuff inside you comes out through your pores. Sweats the mark of a real man. Okay, so it's a sauna area? Uh I like your insides. It's like your insides are stewing in a pot. Is this a spa? You don't want to go tell no one about this place here. Otherwise, heh heh heh. Even in a dirty hole like Pick'em, you gotta watch your hygiene. <laughs> and that means watching your H's. We're all heartily healthy. We're all heartily health conscious here in the secret sauna. See, look at the steam coming out of that pot. And how about that smell? Get a whiff of the sweet odor of sweat. That's funny. It's very silly. Um, so no loot down here, just a mini metal, which, you know, we'll take. What I'll probably do later on in the series is, um, grind for mini metals off camera. And, um, maybe grind for more photographs off camera as well. Because I sure as hell don't want to dedicate a full episode to running around and doing my stuff. Or maybe I will. And just, you know, fast forward through it. Sort of as a guide. Oh, here's where you want to take photographs, or here where here's the mini medals. Maybe I'll do something like that. Um, but all right. So here, like I was saying, it's so easy to get lost in your own inventory when you have so much, so much stuff. I'm looking for the Chimera wings, if we even have any more. If we don't, that's fine. We can just use zoom on Angela, which looks like that's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to zoom back to um, Poor Prospect. <clears throat> we're going to head left now. Go on ahead and make our way in the direction of the ship in question. The reason that I gave the hero the bunny tail instead of leaving it on Jessica is because we actually need the hero to have higher agility. We need we need the hero to be able to move fast. Um, it's actually going to be quite important for the grind coming up. Um, as we all know, metal slimes are fast themselves, so. It's gonna be it's gonna be paramount that we are putting our best foot forward to be faster than them. Okay. These things explode, we're gonna try and run away. We don't need to fight any of these guys. It's not gonna do much for us. Um, the XP really isn't gonna matter. Um, they're not gonna really drop any helpful items if they do drop anything. So we're just gonna keep on moving forward. However, we do wanna go on this property here. We wanna jump down this well. One of the most important items in the game is in this well. Slurp, slurp. Help somebody, anybody, get this crown off of me. I'm down here, look, I'm right next to your foot. 
I was bouncing up and down to the top of the well, but I fell in and now I can't get out. Help me. Pull that crown off me and set me free. You have to give it some welly though. It's stuck fast. Thank you, all you have to do is pull the crown off me. No need to be gentle, just tug at it really hard. Slime crown. Again, one of the most important items in the game. Do not miss this slime crown. Now, you can get more slime crowns, but you have to grind for them. I think you find one or two more, uh, like in chess, throughout the game. And there is a way to grind for them, but the drop rate is extremely low. So you don't want to be in a position where you have to grind for one. I'm not sure what any of these people say, so let's just chat them up. Welcome to our inn. No, I don't want to stay. Let's talk to this lady here. Ah, welcome. Bless you, my child. You may not believe it to look at me now, but in my younger days, I was quite a looker. People used to call me the sexy sister. <laughs> okay. I wonder if there's anything I can do to help you today. Cough. Let's see. Uh, let's officially save our game. because we actually haven't done that. Um, we've used the quick save feature, which is great. Um, but I don't know, I'm a little paranoid, so I wanna make sure to get in some actual, like, real saves, you know? Okay, mini metal. I don't know off the top of my head what rewards we can get from mini metals. Um, but I guess we'll just find out later. It's not important right now because we can't even get the rewards. We can't, we don't have access to the area where we would go to trade these in for rewards. So, what's a thing like that doing in the middle of nowhere? Ah, travelers, have you seen that strange looking mountain over there? Look, if you squint a bit, you'll see it. It's a huge mountain, mountain shaped just like a ship. There's no way there'd be a ship all the way out here, though. It really is a puzzle. So, there's, there's the, uh, the ship. The little old man is mistaking it for a mountain, so we know that it is real. You can get a hold of some really good rock salt down there, you know. I've been digging it out and selling it to earn a living. Alright, cool. Let us get the hell up out of here. Uh, we got the slime crown, we got a mini metal, and we also saved our game. So that's pretty much all the value we're going to get out of this little uh, property here. Remember, keep your eyes out for any chests. There's one, no, it's a rock or a boulder enemy. Um, I don't think that there's any chests nearby that are of high value, but I just like loot. I like, I like having as many tools, as many options, as many items as I can have um, since we're, you know, casually playing through the game. In the speed run, however, I can tell you that the slime crown we picked up, they sell it. And the reason they sell it is because you can get 6,000 gold from selling a slime crown. You're probably thinking, well, why would they sell it? Didn't I just say that it's like one of the most important items in the game? Yes, it is. I also said that you can get, um, I think, one or two more from chests in the future, which they do. And they end up using that slime crown. And you can also um, get slime crowns from grinding them in a particular area. But that particular area, like the optimal area to grind for slime crowns, isn't until the post game. Um, so, certainly would not recommend putting yourself in a position where you have to grind for it. Um, there is also an area before the end of the game where you can grind for them. It's just less optimal. It's going to take way more well, time. Well, I never. What have we here? Yes, this must be it. The ancient ship we heard about in Pickham. We can 
pick up Dual Magus's hateful trail again. But it's enormous. How on earth will we get it down to the sea? I must admit, I'm rather stumped. If only it wasn't quite so far inland. I know. Show me the map. Now, let's see. Here's my castle. Which means now we must be... Hmm. Here. Unbelievable. We're directly south of the castle. I had no idea we were so close to home. In that case, we shall go back to the castle and see if we can find mention of this ship in the library. We might just find a clue. There's no time to lose. We must return to Trodane. To the castle! Now we gotta head on over to Shrodan. It's a little bit of a run. Um, but, I mean, what else are we gonna do? You know? Um, so we'll just head there now. I'll probably uh, fast forward us until we're there. Because um, I don't really have much else that I wanna say or talk about right now. And it's a bit of a trek. So. If nothing else, I'll see you guys there. So that's Trudane, we can see it from here. And remember, it's a cursed... The castle is cursed right now. Um, so there's like a purple mist hovering over it. I think I see a chest down there, so... Let's head to it. That's an infamous monster over there. Looks like a mimic. It's not one of the, uh... Oh, shit. This is actually a mimic. It's not one of the, uh... Monsters in Mori's memos, so we're not gonna bother. Let's just attack this thing. Damn, this thing is hard. Alright. Little level up from Jessica. Okay. Take it. So, we gotta level up and uh, some money. Oh, there's another chest. Hopefully there's something in this one.
Okay, 630 gold. That's a lot. Take it. These freaking enemies, man. Now that church... I, I want to go to it. <clears throat> I know a little bit of a detour, a little bit of a, you know... But I, if it can be a fast travel point, though, then I'd certainly like to grab it now. Let's look around, see if there's a... Okay, there's a chest. You the monster. Okay. Now let's go inside. Maybe they have uh, some cabinets or wardrobes that we can open. They do not. I don't feel too compelled to talk to anybody in here. Let's talk to this guy, I guess. Heard a rumor about a magic key at Castle Tredane, so I went looking for it. Couldn't believe my eyes. I don't mean to interfere in your business, but I wouldn't go there if I were you. You might end up getting cursed, too. Sorry, dude. I was here. That wasn't my intention. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, he's an item shop. Let's see what he got. Um, nothing that I'm too pressed to get right now. Like, yes, I, I see the little stats on um, the smaller screen where pretty much everything he had would have, like, raised our defense and helped us out in some way. So that was a fast travel point. So cool. We got that. Now we're just going to head uh, straight to Trudane. If anything interesting happens, we'll talk about it. Um, but if not, we'll just fast forward until we get there. This slime here, I do actually believe that he is a notorious monster that we need to fight for Mori's memo. Yeah, slimy smiley, so yeah, we gotta fight him. So that's good. This is two out of the three that we needed to take out, and it just happened naturally while we were going through our quest. Um, I like that. So the third one we'll probably have to hunt for. But hey, hunting for one instead of having to hunt for three is much better in my opinion. I'm curious to know what's down here. Um, once we see what's down here, we'll head to Trudy. There's a chest. <clears throat> Come on now. Thankfully, after our grind, random enemies won't be a problem for quite a while. I'll explain more when that time comes. So we got a little bit of gold. Now let's go into Trudian. Get in like this. Jessica, can you get rid of these thorns with some of your hocus pocus? Hocus pocus. 
I guess I can give it a try. Let's see. There. Just don't ask me to get rid of all of them, okay? My magic may be powerful, but it's not that powerful. Well, thank you for what you can do, darling. Because now we're in. Let's get it. Oh, my poor castle. It used to be so beautiful, but now it's in ruins. And it's all because of Dolmagus's evil curse. That's when our journey began. And the castle's secret treasure was plundered. Story time. Ah, there you are, princess. I know you like to look at the stars, but it's a little chilly to be outside. Perhaps you should retire to your chamber. Of course, Father. I'll come right away. this? What's going on? Hello? Is anybody there? There's a man injured here. Somebody please call a doctor. Speak to me. I command you. Tell me what happened here. Your Majesty. S somebody. The sealed chamber. Uh, the sealed chamber? But surely, no one would... <laughs> they, do everything they, they do everything they can to hide Medea and Trode's face. It's so funny. Father, the intruder must still be up there. It's too dangerous for you to go alone. Yes, but what if... I can't just stand by and let someone steal it. Like, this is an incredibly important moment in the story, in the narrative. And it's just, it's silly, it's silly. They're trying to hide their faces. They want, the, you know, how they look to be a reveal. I know, so I'll go with you. Hmm? I don't know. Well, if there's no other alternative. It's also funny because Trode now, like a monster, you would think, ah, oh, they made him so short and blah, blah. He's always been that short. You. What do you think you're doing? I forbid you to touch that scepter. Why, if it isn't King Troll and Princess Mare Dia, <laughs> I didn't expect you to find me. Okay. But <clears throat> what's done is done. Tell me. Is this scepter as powerful as people say? You're that jester. You came to my castle so you could steal the scepter? <laughs> well deduced. You saved me the bother of explaining myself, your majesty. I heard all about it. About a legendary magical scepter sealed deep inside Castle Tredane and about how it could bestow ultimate magical powers. With this, nothing can stop me from becoming the greatest magician of all time. Is that his motive? He just wants to be the best? Then, I'll have my revenge oh. on those scornful snobs who made a fool of me. Okay. Stop! That scepter must never leave this castle! I 
I see no reason to delay this any further. Time to unleash its true power. King Trode, you will be my first guinea pig. Why did he call... I understand calling Trode a troll. Hmm. Is that the best it can do? But why did he call Medea Mare Dea? The Mare I can see, but you look more like a toad than a troll to me. Ah, but wait. The magic circle here must be restricting its full powers. <laughs> if I can take it away from here, I'll see what it can really do. Come, precious scepter. Show me your true power. Oh, yes. What incredible magic. Perfect! I'm still stuck on why he called so her Merdia. Powerful! I can't control it! Is it because she's tall? I don't get it. I don't get the mayor deal one. What on earth? Trode being a troll? Fine. <clears throat> so with the curse, thorns ripped through. Thorns and vines ripped through the castle. And it even turned ca the castle's residents and guards into like plants. It's kind of crazy. Dolmagus was transformed a little bit. And there's Hero. Where he was not affected. Hero got that shit on though. He got that drip. We were inside the magic circle. But you can't. How did you manage to survive? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it was just luck. You've always been a lucky one. Oi, Gav! What are you and the old codgers jabbering on about back there, eh? Have you noticed that since Angelo has joined our party, he like hasn't said a damn thing? He's been radio silent this whole time. Supposed to be swatting up on that shit. Come on, get a move on. Jessica's also been a little quiet, but not as quiet. Angela just really hasn't said anything. Sister Myla Abbey, questline. Hmm. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, of course. The castle library should be just over there. I find that to be a little disappointing. Um, Angelo and Jessica have been rather quiet. I like them as characters. Um, library is behind this door, but it's quite impossible to get through like this. But there's another way into the castle library from within the castle. We shall have to use that entrance. I find it a little disappointing because I like their characters. I think that they're um, strong characters, very, you know distinct from each other um but when it comes to like you the player building an attachment towards them like your first playthrough what reason do you have to be attached to jessica and angelo and not for you know stupid reasons like oh jessica's hot you know she, she's super hot or angelo is a handsome dude and you know well what uh, just dumb reasons, just like, no, actual like character reasons, you know, like, what reason do you have to be attached to them? 
there's still a lot more game to play. There's still a ton more of the video games to go through. Um, but that is something that I have in my mind right now. So I'll definitely be paying um, more attention to what Angelo and Jessica are doing because Yang is he's been chatting. You know, he's also been very helpful. He spoke to Red, um, the whole Pick'em portion. Um, during the whole Pick'em portion, he was the one doing everything. Hero doesn't speak at all, yeah. Um, so I guess that's why Yangus is so vocal, because him and Hero have a closer relationship. Since they are original, they are, they are our original two party members, so Yangus is sort of the voice. Um, and Trode as well. But I don't know. There should be an arc where where Angelo, I mean, it's, I guess it's kind of hinted to, but it doesn't feel too direct, where Angelo's a womanizer. Um, so there should be an arc where he's a womanizer, he's trying to get with Jessica, everybody with eyeballs can tell she's a gorgeously designed character. And over time, he starts to just, you know, actually develop respect for her, um, not only because she's, you know, a powerful fighter, she's a powerful magic user, but also because, you know, she's... A person, you know. There's a person under, underneath the, the hotness and, and the power. I think that would have been a pretty good arc for the writers to have Angelo embark on. There's a liquid metal slime right there. Um, this isn't where we're gonna be hunting them. Um, I mean, let's try and kill it because it was there. So what we're doing is Thunder Thrust, Hatchet Man, Jessica would use Accelerate, and Angelo. It's really not anything for him to do, so I guess he'll just attack. That's what we're going to be doing during the grind portion. Um, I did notice that Yangus is still rather low HP, but that's fine because we're not going to be taking any fights here other than the Liquid Metal Slimes. So. Um, I feel like I got a little turned around. Did I go up here already? I know where I'm supposed to go. I'm just trying to be thorough with my exploration. Because I actually don't know what the loot looks like in this place. Um, that little vault area, that jail cell area that we couldn't open, we will be able to open later on in the game. And we will open it later on in the game. Um, because there's some good stuff in there. Other than that, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what Castle Trodane has for us. Medea used to play the piano exquisitely, but I don't suppose her hooves are as nimble as her fingers were. Even her beautifully warbling voice has turned into a beautifully winning voice. What a wretched situation, but I swear I shall see you turn back to your former self, my precious child. What we can do is I like, read books. For some reason, the words have a nice day are scrolled in huge letters on one page, zero smiles happily. We can read books and, you know, do world building or uh, lore exploration that way. And like I had said maybe an episode or two ago, found a garter. What I said an episode or two ago where we can also find out alchemy recipes from reading books that is still relevant. Um, but again, just Google. Just use Google and you'll have all the recipes. Um, you're not restricted to only being able to craft items that you have the recipe for. Um, you can craft anything, so long as you know what to throw in the pot. It was this magic circle, circle that saved Medea and I from the horns, from the thorns. Yes, in the end, the magic circle my ancestors drew to protect the world from the power of the scepter helped only to protect their descendants from it. We must be grateful to them, although I would be more grateful if they had also protected us from these vexing transformations. So it's clear that the scepter, it, it's, it's known that the scepter is mega powerful, right? But I'm curious to know if Trode 
Was I already in here? I wasn't. Mini metal. I'm curious to know if Trode and his ancestors knew why is this scepter so damn powerful? Why is it such a threat? You know, I'm curious to know that. Chest. 1500 gold coins, that's a lot. sure to be more careful okay come on Magic key. Love that for us. The magic key is going to sort of replace the thieves key for us. So we got a Templar sword. Um, let's just throw that on to Angelo now. The magic key opens any treasure chest. Honestly, the Templar Sword is probably what Angelo's gonna be having for the rest of the game. Um, and I don't mean I don't mean that like, oh yeah, that rest of the game. Like, no, I literally mean the rest of the game. Angelo's probably gonna have that. Um, I didn't pay attention to what I just picked up. Magic Beast Hide. Need that. Um, Angelo's role later on is going to quite honestly be strictly support where he may actually never attack truly um, and if he does attack it'll be highly calculated um, and it'll be like an ability or a spell or something so his uh, weapon is not that important however his equipment will be if that makes any sense So we did some exploring. Um, I know where we need to end up, but how we get there, now I'm a little I'm blanking a little bit. Blanking a little bit on how we get to where I know we need to end up. So I guess we'll just uh, do a little bit of fast forwarding. I'm pretty sure that we found the majority of the loot here anyway, so.
gold. Okay. We're good. All right, we're good. So this... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna... Let's come to the middle of the hallway. Right? And we're just gonna stand here and rotate the camera. We're gonna rotate the camera to despawn enemies. This one is a little too close, so he won't despawn, I think. Rotate the camera. And what we're doing is we're looking for a liquid metal slime. There it is. Yep. So this hallway. So now we have one. What we're going to do is we're going to find that double bubble. You know what? Let's sort the contents alphabetically. Bag. Double bubble. There we go. Use it. For the next 10 battles, the party will earn double experience points in gold. I actually didn't realize it also applies to gold, but we're not going to use this to farm gold. Right? Now we're also going to quick save. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to challenge this uh, slime if I can catch him. We're going to challenge this slime, try and kill him. I'm going to show you guys how. Once we do it one or two times, we're just going to cut to the end of this grind because it can take quite a while. So we're going to use Thunder Thrust. We're going to use Hatchet Man. Accelerate and just attack. Metal Slime Flood. So I guess we'll just cut to when uh, we encounter a Metal Slime that isn't going to flee. Come on now. Don't run. Okay, it stood. No. Oh, there we go. Very nice. First liquid metal slime kill. The liquid metal slime is defeated. Each party member receives 20,100 experience points. The party obtains 54 gold coins. The gold is irrelevant. So we were like, what, level 13? We just jumped to level 18. So after the end of this grind, we should be low 30s? Maybe 30, 31, 32 in that sort of ballpark with our level. So I'm just going to ride it all the way through. I'm going to show you guys. HP increased by 50. MP increased by 18. This is just for hero. Strength plus 15. Agility plus 17. Wisdom. So it's like we're getting a lot of stats. Not just a lot of skill points, but a lot of stats as well. It's really going to help us out. We're also going to learn level up spells so or level up abilities as well. So Zero got um, mid heal and 24 skill points. So with these skill points, what we want to do is we want to unlock Lightning Thrust. So let's see if we have enough. We don't. We don't have quite enough skill points yet. Um, so we just, you know, it is what it is. We'll just bank them for now. Yang is level 18. You can see on the little screen, the jump. Like, look at Jessica. She has 64 health. And she's level 13, 44 MP right now. We use a little bit of MP, but let's see where she jumps to. Yang is more stats, 30 skill points. So with Yangus, we want to, um, what we want to do is we want to end this grind with him having, uh, let's see, 82 points in axes. But we want to get him to 66. Let's see if we can get him there now. We can't. So we need to kill one more slime before we can get the upgraded sort of skills that are allowing us to one-shot these slimes. Jessica, level 17. She has 84 health now, 77 MP. It's great. So you guys get it at this point. Angela, level 17. Let's 
So it's great. We got, and it tells you, too. The game tells you. So we use the double bubble. We finish one fight with it. The double bubble can be used another nine times. So make sure to pay attention to that. And that's it. We're just going to keep on doing that until we use all of the double bubble charges. Very nice. There we go. So let's see. So everybody's level 18 or 17. He's, uh, Hero and Yangus are 18. Jessica and Angelo are 17. Let's see where we get to now. Level 21 on Hero. So now I th I'm pretty sure we have enough. Lightning thrust is what we need. No, we're one short. We actually have a, um, a, a seed of skill we can use. So we'll just do that. What about Yangus with the axes? Yes, we can unlock Executioner. That's the skill that we want right now. So we're going to allocate those skills to Yangus's axes. Uh, Yangus's axes uh, talent. So with that, he's also unlocking some skills like Parallax, which is a move we're going to be using quite a bit. Um, plus 10 attack with axes equipped. Axe critical hit rate is raised. Um, axes of evil, we're not really going to be using that skill. Executioner, we're going to use a lot. So there's a lot of things that we're getting along the way that's going to be super helpful. Jessica learns oomph. We're going to be using that. We just get so much good stuff. Like this, this, From here on out is when the game really opens up to us. Angela learns zing. So now we have an ability that will allow us to revive our teammates. So we won't have to just go back to the church each and every time. We need to resurrect somebody. So let's use hero. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Let's use hero's... Um, Let's use the skill, the seed of skill on hero. I'm pretty sure I have one. Yeah, I have one. We're gonna use it on hero. It doesn't matter what role we get. We got five out of that. That's huge. Doesn't matter what role, because we just needed one more skill point. Go to miscellaneous, skill points, the hero. We want him to get lightning for us. So he needs 59 points in spears. With that, we'll also get plus 10 attack. We'll get multi-thrust, which will be um, a move that we use quite often throughout the run. And our spear critical hit rate is also increased. <clears throat> Very nice. That's it. That's going to do it for our liquid metal slime grind. The last 20.1k XP we're going to get. Here we go. Hitting level 32 on hero. We learned Kassizzle. So after I allocated skill points to Spears, I didn't allocate any more. I wanted to I wanted to show you guys where we're gonna put everything. So let me just look at my notes here. We want 59 in Spears, which we got. Uh, for Hero, all skill points should be allocated to Courage. Okay. Reason being is because the next ability that we're targeting for hero is Omni Heal, which, which we get at 82 skill points. So we're not quite there yet, but we're going to allocate them now because we are, in fact, going to get some abilities that will, in fact, be that are going to be uh, helpful to us. Um, like Zap and Holy Protection. Let's see about Yangus. Angus should have 82 in axes. Okay, there we go. Um, t -t -t -t, let's see. 82 in axes. And we want to do 33 in fisticuffs. And... Uh, 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 um, that's it for Yangus. Reason um, <clears throat> we want 82 in axes, so he gets the plus 20 attack with axes. We are going to push for the 100, but um, it's not necessary for for right now. Uh, we'd rather allocate 
the points into fisticuffs because we're going to get the pad foot ability. That's what we wanted out of fisticuffs. The reason we want pad foot is because we have unlocked the holy protection skill with hero. So what holy protection does is you cast it and whatever enemies are that are around you that are a lower level than you will disappear. So it's going to allow us to not have to hop into the equip screen as much. We can just run no problem. However, there is going to be a point in the game where the enemies are going to, you know, reach our level, the level that we're at. And we're not going to be able to have them disappear with holy protection anymore. So with that, uh, with that being the case, we're going to use pad foot. Pad foot makes it so that we're silent when we run um, from the enemy's perspective. So the enemy, they're not going to like notice us. Um, so the only way we can get random encounters or not necessarily random encounters, but enemy encounters is if we just run directly into them. They're not going to notice us. They're not going to chase us. It's going to be easier to navigate. Jessica, let's see. We want we want thirty one skill points in staves. She's gonna get more MP with a staff equipped. We're gonna get bounce. Also gonna get magic barrier. I actually meant to add more um, skill points into other talents, but we'll do that. We'll we'll do that in a second. Let's work on Angelo for now. Angelo, we need sixty-five in staves. We want him to have oomph. Um, let's see. We want forty in swords. And we want thirteen in charisma. So we want 40 in sword so that he can uh, have more attack and also um, have some abilities so that if we ever do have an opportunity to have him attack, he can actually do something with it. Stabs, uh, we want him to have um, oomph. Oomph is a big um, support spell that we want him to have for sure. Oomph doubles your attack power for one turn. Um and we also want 13 in Charisma so that he can learn the Sarcastic Snigger uh, ability. We are going to be using this for one fight in the game. Um, and it is going to be quite impactful. Um, you're probably thinking, I mean, skill points for one fight? And it's like, yeah, you want to make whatever fights you can as easy as possible. Um, over time, we will boost up Angelo's staffs to 100. And we'll... I have a theory. Let me talk. Let me tell you guys about it. There's no real reason for us to raise Angelo's charisma anymore. We don't have to. So I have an idea. Our double bubble, our double bubble power is spent. It just said it, meaning it's it's all done. So let's hop back into the skill points. Let's go to Jessica. We want to add 38 into sex appeal. And we want 13 into fisticuffs for now. The reason we want 13 into fisticuffs is so that she gets that uh, increased agility. Um, we're going to be removing Jessica's knife. We don't need it. Like, we won't need it until, like, the very end of this series again. So we're just going to remove it. We don't need her to have anything equipped. So that plus 10 agility is going to be helpful when she is casting support su support spells like Accelerate. We're increasing her sex appeal because we want Puff Puff. Puff Puff, we're going to use it the same fight we're using Sarcastic Snigger. And it's also a little bit helpful that 1 16th chance of charming monsters, like I said maybe an episode or two ago, when a monster is charmed with Jessica, it's equivalent to them basically losing a turn. They won't be able to attack. <clears throat> so, I want to talk to you guys for a second. This is not in my notes. This is not in a document. This is not spoken about in the speedruns that I watched. So, this is something that I think about. Hero doesn't have it. 
I don't think Yangus does either. No. What about Jessica? Jessica does have it. Look at 52 skill point allocation for Fisticuff. Probability of dodging increased. Now, we are going to get Jessica's Fisticuffs to 100. We want Magic Burst. That is going to be our primary damage at a certain point in the game onwards. Pretty much for the rest of the game. We want Magic Burst. But that probability of dodging increased. Pay attention to that, right? So we're definitely going to get it with Jessica. Angelo. Does he have it? He does. At 21 fisticuffs, Angelo's probability of dodging increases as well. So this is something that isn't... Okay, the music is just, like, so loud. It's probably not that loud in the video, but it's, like, it's throwing me off. Let me let me lower my, P, my uh, volume so that I don't hear it so I can think. Later on in the game, we are going to be fighting enemies that hit so hard that it doesn't really matter what armor you have, they're going to want to shot you. It's gonna happen, that's it. So, to circumvent this, we are going to be crafting and creating equipment that'll increase our evasion. Our, that it's gonna increase our probability to dodge things. So I was looking and I, when I was upgrading skills, I noticed that Angelo and Jessica have a probability increase when it comes to dodging. So, I don't mention it in my notes at all. It's not mentioned in any speed runs, like I already said. I think that I want to allocate skill points to Angelo's Fisticuff so that we can increase his dodging capabilities. Only after we get all the skills that we need out of staves. Um, that's honestly it. We just need his his spells that he can get. We're not gonna be. Oh, let me let me see. Okay, so we are going to also be getting his sword ability to 100 because we want Lightning Storm. When Angelo is going to be doing, when Angelo is going to be attacking, it's going to be with Lightning Storm. It's going to be few and far between, but it will be like with Lightning Storm. So we only need 21 skill points to put into Fisticuffs to increase his dodging probability. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. We're going to do it later. We're going to do it later. But just keep that in mind for your runs if you're following along with what I'm doing. And truly follow along with what I'm doing because I'm going to be doing that um, and I'm also putting together the most optimized loadout for our entire party that you could possibly get in the game you can use whatever you want but this what I'm doing truly is the most optimal but anyway that's it um, that's all I wanted to say that's all I wanted to talk about let me raise my volume again uh, I know this video is already gonna be a little bit long but that's okay it's the grinding video Everybody's skill points have been appropriately allocated. So what we are going to do now is we're just going to continue our way through the castle. Um, let's just do one little once over zero. Uh, I, I keep on saying zero because that's me. But the hero, whenever I address our main character, I call him hero. Hero is level 32, Yang is 31, Jessica 30, and Angelo 31. So the thing about Jessica is that she actually will consistently fall behind in level and also health i don't know why she just doesn't generate health and she she takes more experience for her to level up than anybody else so what you can do is you can um put your seeds of life into her give her seeds of life to help you know to sort of help her catch up a little bit um every little bit counts especially when you're in the later dungeons in the, in the game where you're most like more often than not gonna get hit um and if she does get hit you really want to help her survive so just a tiny bit more exploring before we truly leave or before we go to the library here in Tredane. okay this freaking dragon Just really want to make sure we don't miss any loot. Probably off camera or through a, like a fast forwarded sort of episode when I do when I go for um, more of the mini medals and for more photographs. I'll also go back to like the dungeon where we found the Venus tier, and I'll open those locked chests that are in there. Now that we have the magic key, the magic key allows us to open any chest. Um, 
the water weed mold. Not gonna be using that, but got some gold. We will be using gold. <clears throat> And a mini metal. All right. Our exploration habits have uh, proved to be fruitful. Let's just see where this spits us out. Oh, here in the library. Okay. Good. is in. It's such a terrible shame. To work then. First things first. We need to find a book containing information on that ship. Maybe there'll be some kind of clue as to how to get it moving again. All right. Like I said, I think this episode has been long enough. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to save our game real quick. And we're going to call it there. Um, this was the grinding episode. After this, we are going to continue along with this uh, Trodane quest line. We're already in the library, so we're pretty much at the end of it. Um, but we will continue um, after this. So if you did enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you want to use or at least peek at the document that I put together for this game, then it will be down in the description below alongside all of my social media handles. Make sure to drop a follow so that you always know what's going on with the channel. So with all that being said, we'll catch you all in the next one.